Let's review our long division and learn how to deal with decimals in this format. Example, 72 divided by 0 0.3. Let's put it into our long division format. We draw the den. The dividend, in this case, the 72 goes into the den. The divisor, the 0 0.3 goes out front. And the quotient, or answer, will be on top. First step, this question looks kind of weird with the decimal in there, so let's remove it. If we multiply the 0 0.3 by 10, it becomes 3. If we also multiply the 72 by 10, we get 720. Since we multiplied both the divisor and the dividend by 10, the question is still the same. So we're good to proceed. We look at the first number in our dividend, the 7. Question, can 3 go into 7? Yeah, 3 can go into 7 2 times. 3 times 2 is 6. So that tells us that we put the 2 up here, and so far we know the quotient starts with a 2. Since we know that 2 times 3 is 6, we put the 6 down here. And the next step is to subtract the 6 from the 7. 7 minus 6 is 1. And we notice that we still have more dividend digits to work on. So we bring down the 2. And now we have 12. Can 3 go into 12? Yeah, 3 times 4 is 12. So we'll put the 4 up here. And 3 times 4 equals 12. The 12 is down here. And again, we subtract. 12 minus 12 equals 0. We carry the last digit in the dividend down. It's a 0. And we know that 3 times 0 is 0, so we know that we just put a 0 up here in the quotient. Since we have no dividend left and a 0 at the bottom, we know we're done. The quotient is 240. And of course, we can always check our answer. Remember that division and multiplication are opposites, so 240 times 0 0.3 should give us our 72. So let's check. 3 times 0 is 0. 3 times 4 is 12. So we'll mark down the 2 and carry the 1. And 3 times 2 is 6. Plus our carried 1, we get 7. We have one digit after the decimal in our multiplication. So we know that the answer will also have one digit after the decimal. So we have 72. Confirmed.